I'm just thinking before I completely dismantle this table enclosure, perhaps I should do a little clip on it. That's a really practical way to go. So much cheaper and simpler than a full enclosure. Um, so there might be some people out there that are thinking about a table enclosure. This back piece that I've built is, is a really good addition. It drops down so that the coolant and chips always flow into the table area and that means that they stay away from down behind the um, table we really don't want them bunching up inside the uh, covers um, so I almost would put that on the back of a table anyway even if I had in full enclosure because at this height which is you know roughly five inches it never has contacted underneath the uh, head here or or the nose of the spindle has never contacted it it's just an area that is not in contact um, maybe once or twice I've come close to contacting it but if you're working out of, off a vice um, it isn't really an issue that that height that shape that cut down actually clears the head really well so I may even fit that back on when I've got a full enclosure and having the um, type of table enclosure that I've got here that's bulging in the front like that means that you can have a large six inch vise fully open um, and still have it all within the enclosure. It also means that this area underneath where your, uh, your X switch and, and um, slideway covers and so on are is fully sheltered from chips and cutting oil.